I'm Sarah Grave. When I was six years old, I started taking piano lessons. Then halfway through high school, I moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Music was everything at that point. My parents are very, very supportive. And so I went to SMU. I applied to USC. I eventually took over coordinating the theory program at USC. And I had an email from the chair of the music department at Cal State LA at the time. This was in 2000. And he said, we'd like to interview you for the one-year visiting assistant professorship that you applied for. And I got the job. I teach a lot of the core classes that we do with the undergrads. I like taking people from square one. I like working with freshmen. In a faculty meeting, I said, we don't have a class about women in music. And somebody said, well, why don't you create one? It was so inspirational. I could have women from literally any place on the planet come in for a Zoom interview. The students love it. It makes me feel like I'm doing something really valuable. Most of what I write has social justice or environmental subtext to it. I was commissioned to write a piece for the red violin. The real life violin belongs to Elizabeth Pitcairn. She said, I'd really like to commission you to write a piece for me. I was sitting at the piano and I was kind of playing through it for her. And she got out her violin and she's standing behind me playing. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's the red violin standing behind me playing a piece that I wrote for the red violin. And it was the actual Mendelssohn Stradivarius. I have this song cycle about gun violence against children. I have a song cycle that's about all kinds of violence, verbal or physical, against women. I wrote a piece during the pandemic called Polar Bear that's about global warming. I'm currently writing a piece that I was commissioned for the Newport Symphony in Oregon, and it's about a nature preserve up there that was the home to the Yakona tribe. In 2002, I went up to Alaska because I had heard you could volunteer on a whale research boat, and I thought, that sounds like fun. I'd like to do that on my vacation. But I ended up going up to Alaska every summer for almost a decade to work on this boat. And so I ended up becoming the stranding coordinator for the Alaska Whale Foundation. But this is why we got married on Garapata Beach on January 3rd, is because I wanted to get married during whale season so that we would see them swimming by during the wedding. He's a, a brilliant conductor. We have a shared love of travel. He's the best daddy uh, between his brilliant daughter, Juliana, his two godsons, Max and Theo, and then, of course, our spitfire, Avani. He is the best daddy. One day, Avani was sitting here, and she started telling me about some fish, and I thought, she's four. How does she know all of this? And I took a video of it. I just thought, let's do one of these a day. And so every day, Avani would say, Today I'm gonna give you a tour of my winter garden. Winter has arrived in Southern California. Um, so she's my little nature girl. I've gotten to do a lot of, a lot of good things in my life.